Alrighty, traders, hello everybody. So, very, very, very strong market across, especially the metals and also mining sector. Very, 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 very strong across that sector. Also, the stock market just slowly crawling to the upside, slowly crawling to the upside. So there's a lot that we wanna go through today, so let's get straight into it, guys. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty, traders, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you grab access to that 95% off my entire Master Trader Lab. You can get access to that. There should be a link in the description there. So, uh, traders, look at this here. Look at this here. The metals and the miners, especially silver. Silver had a really just, you know, silver had a really, 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 really big update today. So one thing I want to uh, sort of, uh, I want to walk you through something here, okay? One thing that uh, I, I'm seeing comments on YouTube saying like, okay, I'm, I'm seeing comments on YouTube that are saying like things like gold, okay? So gold continue to have a very nice move to the upside. Gold's not gonna get above, gold's not, gold might get to 2,700, but that's it, okay? And then there's that theory behind it, okay? That thinking behind the gold market, okay? Um, and one thing I was talking about with my, with my clients today, guys, is what? Is, is one thing I was talking about them is, and this is my relate to you, is that I, Whenever I start to think about something happening, then it's, it's wrong, right? Wrong, it's, it's wrong. Well, I think this is gonna happen because of X, Y, Z. I think, I think, I think, I think. One thing that I've learned about my own personal trading, guys, is that whenever I'm trading the markets, okay? Whenever I'm trading the markets, guess what? I'm trading the markets in a result of, okay, I don't think that it's gonna go up, I just know that this is a good trading setup that I'm utilizing right now, and I'm going to trade based off that, right? And then I'm going to, and then I'm going to use good uh, trade management techniques. So, bit of a bit of a bit of a thing for you guys. One thing that if for people that are trying to navigate through this whole trading world, one of the one of the worst things you can do is say, "Well, I'm going to get in this because I think it's going to go up." What I do is I say, "I'm getting into this trade because it's the pattern that I trade, and the pattern has a high probability of making a profit." See the difference is there? So anyway, let's actually get on to the actual short-term analysis, what's going on right now in the good old gold, silver markets, and so on and so forth. So we'll start off with the good old silver market, uh, gold market, shall I say? So gold continue to have a very, very, very nice movement to the upside. And this is something that I've talked about for quite some time across all these markets, right? I've talked about how just by seeing this analysis through here, by seeing that this whole uh, gold market here has done basically not much. And you notice this, right? Whenever we go through these really quiet periods, we end up starting to really big. Uh, we, we, end up, we end up starting to go. We end up, end up starting to go through a really, really big move, right? Um, in gold, or in, in any market, should I say? So markets are going sideways through here, and when that happens, we tend to have really big moves. And this is how gold has actually been operating, pretty much the entire year, right? Sideways, big move up. Sideways and Look at this here, after the sideways, big move up. After the sideways, big move up. It's been just a repetitive pattern that we've actually seen time and time and time and time again. And it's been, it's one of the most simple things out there, right? Market goes up, then sideways, it breaks out, we go for a big move, we go sideways, we break out, we go for a big move, right? So we're going with the overall markets from here. So right now, I actually have a 3000 target on gold. Um, Again, like, I don't know how it's going to get there. If it is going to get there, that's just my thinking that it's going to get there. I could be completely wrong about it getting there, right? So, um, but I do say that just coming off the back of what we're doing right now, we're, we're in a very, very, very big, strong bull market right now. So there's nothing on the market that's telling us the top 10. There is nothing in the market to say that, oh, well, this is just a uh, short term, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, and the thing is, guys, is that if you've been watching my videos for the last, if, for this entire year, you would know that I've been bullish. I've been bullish gold ever since the start of this year, right? Ever since I started to see, well, there was actually, there was two different patterns, wasn't it? There was, there was two different patterns. Firstly, ever since I started to see this entire move go sideways for a long time, 
People say, oh, gold's going up because of the war or all this sort of stuff. Okay, that may be true, but how do we trade that? You can't. What can we trade? Oh, when the when the market produces a very good sideways period through here, and this here is, what's that? One, two, three years of doing nothing and we start to break out. Guess what? We're probably likely to have at least 12 months of good up, a good upward movement, maybe a couple of years. I don't know, right? Depending on the volatility of the move and so on and so forth. Right? So for me, I've been bullish gold this entire time. Um, and the reason why is just a simple analysis. When we when, when we when we start to develop this sideways pattern tree, and you see it time and time and time and time again, guys, right? Whenever the market goes sideways through here, when we start to when the market doesn't do much for a couple of years, and then we start to break out, that's when we start to see some magic happen, right? If we go back to actually the, the Dow Jones. What does the Dow Jones do? What what did the Dow ja, ja, what did the uh, what did the Dow Jones do? Nothing for all this time, right? It went up, down, up, down, up, down, sideways, sideways. Now we're breaking into a good bull market. Why? Because it did nothing for a few years. And now it's doing something for a few years. Right? Really, really, really simple concept. Don't look into the reason why is this happening. No one knows. So you're going to go, why is this happening? No one knows. Now the talking heads can come up with a reason of why they think, oh, well, the market went up today because investors are getting fearful. And then tomorrow the market goes down. Oh, and market goes down one day. Market does this tomorrow like that. Oh, investors are starting to get very, market does this. And it may even go something like this, right? It may go down for two or three days. Oh my goodness, 4% 4, 4 drop in the market. And then, and then the talking heads come out. One week ago, the talking heads were saying, oh, my investors are bullish because this, and then the market drops, and guess what? And then the talking heads say, oh, the investors are bearish because they're getting worried about what's going on and da-da-da-da-da, right? The purpose of saying this is if you, ever go, if you ever try to go down to why is this happening, you're going down a dead-end road. Because guess what? No one definitely knows why something is happening in the stock market. No one knows, right? They can give their talking opinions. But let, okay, let's just do this here. Let's just do this here. What I'm all about is developing systems, processes, and strategies to give you that you can follow every day for the rest of your life so you can have a really good successful trading career, right? Now, under the umbrella with what I just said there, where does, let me spend four hours going down a big grassy rabbit hole to figure out why the market is doing what it's doing today. Um, and then I'm gonna use that exact same analysis for the rest of my life to trade the market successfully. You can't. The purpose of saying what I'm saying right now is no one definitely knows what the market is doing, but the market, the actual chart itself, gives us some guidance, right? Gives us some guidance. This happens so much in the markets. Market goes sideways, then we go for a big breakout, right? Um, we saw this with gold, right? And we saw this, and and you guys would know if you followed me since the start of the year, you would know that when we did do this through here, guess what? We end up what? We end up having a really, really, really big move uh, to the upside um, out of that there. Why? Because we went sideways here and we broke out and then the market went up from there. Okay? Um, so that's what I'm looking at there from the from the good old gold perspective. The silver perspective is having a really nice up move. Now, and again, it's just it's it's one of the most simplest patterns out there, guys. Look at this. Look at this. What is this, guys? What is this? How come we actually had a really big breakout through here? All right, we'll, oh, am I gonna get the right one? There we go, there we go. A big breakout through there. Because we did nothing for all this time. Then we then we go for a big move up, right? Now we're going for a pullback and now we're continuating up. Now, one of the big things I really wanna share with you is this. If you wanna increase your success rate, do this one thing. Do this one thing. Wherever, the uh, put a 24 moving average on the weekly chart, and if the 24 moving average is strong trending in a direction, in this case up, then you only can look for long signals. Okay, you start to apply that, then you start to, but when it's flat, guess what? There is, there's no momentum, right? The moving average is like a momentum indicator. Market is flat, momentum is flat. M momentum starts to pick up, momentum starts to get very strong to the upside. You only can look for long signals through here, right? Why? Because that's where the big momentum is, right? That's where the big, 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 big momentum is. So for on a short-term level basis, the actual, the oil market, the buyers are starting to come back in, 
right? The buyers are really, really, really starting to come back in. We have this low point through here and we have this high low through here. And now we have this point where we broke out to the upside. Now the buyers are starting to come back in. Now the buyers are starting to come back in. But why, the, why on this daily charts is the buyers come back in? Check the big picture, all right? Look at the big picture. What is the big picture? The big picture is what? Look at trend and look at momentum, which is the uh, trend and the, and and the moving average. If the market's making higher lows, guess what? The trend's up, right? And then if we've got a strong 24 moving average on the weekly, this little here is just what? A little pullback. Because what is an upward trend? Up, and then we go through a pullback, and then we go back up again, and then we go through a pullback, and we go up again, and it creates these higher lows, higher lows. This here is what? Just a higher low in the markets before away we go once again. So, in the but as you can see, this point through here was what it took all this time. When it, how long? How long was that? Three months, almost four months worth of going through a sideways gyration. But the big picture and what kept you alert to that we could potentially be seeing a scooping action soon, the buy scooping in was what was that? Um, was that that weekly chart? And then know that okay, yeah, we're going through this gyration through here, but the buyers could be coming back in real soon. Right, because of that big long-term picture through there. Makes sense? Let's look at the GDX from here. GDX continue to be strong, guys. And this is what, you know what? The trend is your friend until the end, right? I promise you, that number one thing, guys, wherever the trend is, just go with that. Now, even more, what did I say just a minute ago? Weekly charts. Weekly charts. If the market's making higher lows and the moving average is strong up, you only can look for long signals, right? Now, again, I have a precise... That first thing in the description there, guys, I teach you my actual trading system for free. So what I'm teaching you here right now is a couple of rules out of, so it's about two rules out of five, right? But look at this here, low, higher low, higher low, higher low. What's the moving average doing? Strong to the upside. So you trying to short, oh, the mining stock's gonna go down. Really? Uh-uh-uh, uh-uh-uh, right? Um, you know, it's just, it's probably, probably not going to work out there for you. Right. And again, guys, like this, this is all about chart reading in that master trader lab guys, that 95% off. Um, I actually have a whole section. I think there's about 10 or 12 videos in there. Goes for a couple of hours long. I'm pretty sure in, in total of, in one of the sections, which is chart reading mastery. And I go through step by step, all these powerful chart reading techniques you can utilize. You also get the foundations. You get like four different trading systems, the mindset stuff. It's all in there, right? You're going to absolutely love it. But anyway, so we can see through here, right? See all this through here. Now let's go have a quick look at the actual stock market. Stock market is very, very, very strong right now. And I want to, I, I want to teach you something between a trend and a trend that's in place and a strong trend. Whenever we start to get a market that goes up, and we have this level being here, the fifty to sixty percent mark. If the market can come down to here, especially around the 50% and hold and then pick back up, that's what's called strong trend, right? Strong trend. Um, and the as you can see with my box here, look at my box here. If I bring up my from low to high, look what happened. Look exactly where it bounced off. Look exact, it bounced off right, right on that smack on 50% level. Bam, right there, low to high. Low to high, smack on to 50%, rejected it, and then pushed to the upside. What does this mean? That means the buyers are strong. That means if you're looking for a top here right now, you're trading with your fear, you're trading with your ego, you're trading with based off some reason why you're trying to pick a top. Don't pick a top, guys, all right? Do not try to pick a top. Trading's hard, trading's difficult, right? Don't make it hard on yourself. Make it much easier with yourself. Find where the trend is. If it's making high lows, like I taught you, you know, what did I teach you? Weekly chart. Right, what did I teach you about the weekly chart? I taught you what? If the market's making higher lows on the weekly chart and we've got a strong moving average, just like the Dow Jones has been doing, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, and we had the strong moving average, guess what? Then, then we should be only looking for long signals because anyone that's been trying to short the markets right now is trading with their ego, and guess what? Ah, uh, look at this here. Oh, they try to short it here, short it here, short it here, short it here. Meanwhile, big move, big move, big move, big move, and look where the big move is, okay? So just find where, if it is trending in a direction, just go with that, right? You gotta increase your success rate. You're probably gonna jump on a lot more successful trades from there, okay? Looking at the S&P 500, 
and really, really, really nice move to the upside. And again, look at this weekly chart here, guys. Just continue to power up. Anyone that's going against this one simple rule, which is what? If the market's making higher lows through here, and if we have a strong moving average, you only can look for the long signals, regardless of what you think, hope or fear, when we, when we, when we start to get this drop down point through here, and the people are freaking out and so on and so forth. Hang on a minute, just relax. Stop going against the trend, right? And the one that I really like, the big daddy, the big daddy of all this is what? King Russell. King Russell. Why do I like King Russell for? Ah, oh, okay. Few analysis. What did I? What have, what have I taught you in this video so far? Firstly, is that whenever we do make, whenever we do go sideways, just like the Dow. Let me take you off the screen. Whenever we do go sideways, like the Dow. We end up breaking out. We end up starting a real good, real good bull, bull move, right? Here's the sideways. Here's the sideways, right? So that's the first thing. Whenever we do that, we end up ta we end up we end, when when we do start the breakout, we end up starting to have really nice upward trend. We're probably getting ready. That we're probably doing that right now, um, and it's been happening there, right? Uh, been happening there. Now, what 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 have I also taught you today? I also taught you today that on the weekly chart, if the market's making higher lows. Then we only can go with we are we uh, then the trends up we only can go with that and also if the moving average is going to the upside, as you can see all through here the market the overall moving average is trending up to the upside. Well, that means one we uh, went sideways we're likely to go for a breakout. Two the market's making higher lows and three the moving average is up. We only can be looking for long signals through here, right? We only can be looking for long signals. Why? Because anyone that try to anyone and again look at this here. Anyone try, look, you try to short here, short here, short here, try to go short there, maybe try to go short there. Can you see how you are getting your head handed to you every single time, right? Instead of going long here, long here, long here, long here, long here, and potentially long here and potentially long through there, right? So that's what I'm looking at through there, guys. So anyway, traders, that's it for me today. Remember, uh, some simple analysis around these markets. Approach this and I promise you it'll increase your success rate and you'll probably enjoy trading a lot more as well too.